Hey, welcome back to Good Day Tampa Bay. Uh, outside, uh, you know you're in trouble when the ladies from Shapes bring weights and put them in front of you and say you're going to be working out today. So here we go. Now, a little some stuff's a little different today. Uh, Anne's usually doing the talking, but Anne lost her voice. So Christine Howell's with us today. Yes. And it's good to see you. We're talking going slowing down your workout absolutely got to slow your roll guys so this is called moving super slow-mo kind of invented or uh, trailblazed by a guy named Ken Hutchins who designed the whole idea of slowing down with lighter weight it was designed ideally for people with injuries people with osteoporosis where they couldn't accommodate a heavy weight so they took a lighter weight slowed down everything had more time under tension therefore breaking T -T. TUT, right. you are correct, sir. And breaking through plateaus and getting a whole new training effect. So Russell's going to pick up our five-pound weights here. Not a lot. Five pounds. Not a lot. So while you're here, let's do what Ann and Marta are doing. You're going to do a row. Now do it like what you would do in a normal workout. Two counts, up two, down two. Now I want ten counts up. Ten, ten counts to pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then slow. This is really nice, too, because you can take the time to really focus on the muscle group that it's designed to work, your back. So here, oh, channel the energy into your back, right? And you don't have to worry about throwing those weights around and not quite knowing why you're doing it. Super slow, super mindful. Let's stand up tall now. Let's try a bicep curl. Give me a couple that you would do regular tempo. One more. Good. Now, super slow-mo, 10 counts. One, two, three, focus on that bicep. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice and slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go back and talk about a couple of things. Because I, one of the things I've heard about this technique mm -hmm. is not only are you just t taking it slowly by going up, it's also important that you're going slowly as you release the tension, yes? Absolutely, the focus is the, well, at least in this instance, um, equal distribution of eccentric and concentric work, the lengthening of the muscle, the shortening of the muscle. Both are equally as important, one is important as the other. And you also said something that I think is important is that um, you can use lighter weights yes. and still get Results. Yes. So we slow down, we have to hold on to the weight longer, increase time under tension, and then you're going to get tired faster, right? Yeah. And then also, if you're nursing an injury, you have osteoporosis, anything like that, it's super safe. Go back a little bit and tell me what you meant by uh, how it can help you get through a plateau. Yes. So sometimes when we plateau, whether it be through performance, weight loss, or a plateau in weight loss, we feel like we might have to exercise harder, go harder, more days at the gym, more hours at the gym. And really, it's just changing up technique. Some, something as simple as just slowing down your strength training routine can be that plateau that you need that's going to boost you to the next level. And do this on your own. Absolutely, absolutely. And this time of year, you're either going to use it or you're going to lose it. So our goal now is to keep you active during the holidays and um, avoid the plateau. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Hey, you did great. Thanks. You too. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you take care. <laughs> Be careful, get the voice back, and don't do anything we wouldn't do. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, take a break. Load slow.